Hi guys, Top Officer, and today it is really windy out, but we are going into EB Games to see if anything is new. There is a car coming, so let's get started. All right, everybody, so we are inside now, and they actually gotten a lot of really good ones today. So let me start with this right here, guys. They got in the Concept Series C-3PO, and you guys know I've been trying to get this entire set. Now, the only one that I need, and I don't think they have it today, is the Darth Vader. So that is pretty cool. And also, the Gamer Bart came in. So this is one that's a bit of an older one, and I should have picked it up when it first came out. But they had one or two today, so I'm definitely going to be snagging this one for my Simpsons set. And then, guys, you might have seen behind the ones that I was just showing off, they got in a bunch of new ones here. So they got a bunch of the Naruto ones, and I was going to pick up this one, but I believe that I did order this one online. This one was normally a Chalice Collectibles exclusive, but here, I guess it's coming to EB Games, and it's got this really big ding, so I did order this one for now, so we're not going to be getting it today. But they also have the Six Path Sage Mode, which is actually really cool in here. I love the flames behind them. They have this one as well as oh, just two of the mini toe. Okay, that's cool. But still, some really great figures, and I'm surprised they had them today, because I didn't think they were coming out this early. And then over here, guys, in terms of more Star Wars stuff, they did get in the Darth Malak again, and the Shadow Stormtrooper, and then the Yoda Hooded. Now, for this one here, I'm not sure if I have the Yoda Hooded. I know I definitely have the Darth Malak and the Shadow Stormtrooper, but this one, I'm not sure. I'll have to check. And then over here, guys, they did get in the Emperor Pilaf. I think it is Pilaf from Dragon Ball. And now I know a lot of people were excited about this one. And I didn't even think it looked like a real pop when I first saw the concept art for it. But now looking at it in person, it actually looks really nice. And I'm not going to be picking it up today. But if anybody, you know, wants this figure and is in Canada, I would definitely come to EB Games because it looks like they just started to get this one in. And then down here, guys, next to the Naruto ones, they do have the Zombie Modok. And then they also have the Zombie Red Hulk and the Zombie Thor. Now, there might be other ones. No, it looks like just a bunch of the Zombie Thors back there. These are nice figures. I have a lot of the zombie ones. I don't know if I'm going to get any today. Like, maybe if I were to get one, possibly the Red Hulk? Yeah, it okay. is a nice one. I might grab this one today. And then, guys, over here, they, of course, have some of these Spider-Man Miles Morales ones. I'm just waiting for mine to come in, because I did order, I believe, most of them. If I were to check the back of the box, I have talked about this before, but I think maybe missed, like, one or two characters. I definitely got most of them on their website. I'm just waiting, like I said, for the pre-orders to come in. But one that I did see here, and I believe there's only one of them, is the Death Metal Batman Guitar Solo. Now, this is one that I will 1,000% be picking up, and it looks like they've only got one of them. And then, guys, in terms of the rest of the pops back here, it's pretty much stuff that we've already seen before, because I think this here was the new row, and then everything else is kind of stuff that's been around for maybe a week or so, or, you know, longer than that, whatever. But, uh, yeah, I don't see anything that I'm really hunting for in the rest of the pops, so let's go check the front section, because that's where they put more of the new stuff. And now, here's what they got up at the front, guys. They got in the Concept Series R2-D2, which is one that I already have, and then they also the Concept Series Yoda. So, like I said, I now get the C-3PO for today. The only one that I'm missing is that Darth Vader. I swear... No, maybe he wasn't. I thought Darth Vader was top left. I might be going crazy here, but anyways. They also have the King Deadpool, the deluxe one up here, as well as the Thanos Earth 18138. Bit of a mouthful. Then we've got the Couch Homer, and then last but not least, guys, we've got the exclusive Happy Gilmore. I believe this is a new one. I think so. Like, not new in general, like the pop, but like new to here. Yes, I think so. Actually, guys, I just got a little bit of information about this one. It's apparently you get this one for free if you buy the brand new NHL, which is pretty cool for a pop, and I don't think they've ever done that before. Maybe with one of the WWEs, but I can't think of any other one besides that. All right, guys, so I got my pops, and I don't really know where we're going to be going next, so let's just go wherever the wind takes us, because it is pretty windy today. All right, everybody, so we made it over to our next stop, which is Toys R Us, and it is still windy out, so sorry if you guys can't hear me, but let's go in and let's see what's new, because I did hear that they got in some of the Emeralds City Comic Con exclusive, so fingers crossed they still have some of those. Actually, before we show off the pops, I wanted to check the Pokemon real quick, and it looks like they've got a lot of the battle styles and the new Pokeball. I don't know what packs are inside of this, but I might get this today. I have most of the other packs for Battle Styles, and I will be doing a video possibly over on Twitch soon. So I'm going to stream, but maybe we'll edit up the VOD and put it on our second channel. But yeah, they've got a lot of Battle Styles today. I don't think I'm going to be getting anything, but I was looking for Shining Fates, and I happen to run into this. Kind of sad but at least we'll be grabbing this today. Now, it looks like, guys, over in the Pops, they did get in some of the Emerald City Comic Con exclusives. So they do have the Spectre here, and I don't know if I'm going to be getting this one today, but they also have the Spider-Man 2099. Now, these are some nice characters, and I don't think 
maybe they have by now, but I hadn't seen Walgreens putting this up on their website. So this is one that I definitely want to grab today because I feel like it's going to be a tough one to find just because of that. Oh, and also I like the figure. It's a nice Spider-Man. And now guys, it looks like they moved these sodas to right underneath the Pocket Pops and I don't have the Batgirl Chase yet. So I'm thinking of possibly getting one of these today just to see if we could get it because I did get the Chase and Common for Freddie Mercury. So we don't need to pick up any more of him. But for the Batgirl here, I might want to try it out with just one of them. Yeah, let's grab one today. And then guys, here we are in the back section. Now the thing about this is that most of the stuff that I'm seeing here is pretty much the same as last time we were here. I think, I mean, stuff's been moved around a little bit, but it's pretty much the exact same figures. Like this one has been moved over from the other side. This one was the Target exclusive Bumblebee. And I do want to get one here eventually, maybe if they go on sale, because the one that I got from Target came in super damaged. I think the back of the box was completely smashed in or something like that. So this might be one that I get in the future. But other than that, in this section, we've kind of already picked them up and shown pretty much all of these off before. And then for over here, guys, this is a lot of their commons that they got in, as well as the bigger exclusives like the 10-inch ones up there. But I don't see too much that's new over here. Like, maybe the Halo ones are a bit newer down there. And then, I mean, Richard Simmons and Pet Shop Boys are a bit newer. South Park is... But yeah, guys, other than that, it might be these guys? And then that's about it? I don't know, there's not too much else that I'm looking for, so let's just get out of here. All right, everybody, so I got all my stuff over at Toys R Us, and I got something behind the counter that I couldn't show you because, of course, I was checking out at the time, so I'll show you that when we get back to the studio. All right, everybody, now we've never been here in a video, but this store is called That's Entertainment, and apparently they started selling Funko Pops, so we're gonna go in and see if they have anything. This could be exciting, or it could flop. You never know. All right, everybody, so as soon as I walked in the store, they had some Funko Pops right here. Now, this is exciting. Also, that Gremlin, I might wanna get that one today. Now, guys, check this out. Right here at the front, they have a cabinet full of trade-ins, and I saw this one up here, the Vincent Vega from Pulp Fiction. It's only $80. I know it sounds like a lot, but for that character to find it in person, that is a pretty decent deal. Now guys, here's some also at the front here. These are the three for 15 ones. So they are a little bit cheaper, but they are still some nice ones here. They've got some Runaway ones, Tomorrowland, which you don't see very often anymore. Some 007. Oh, I see some others on the side there. Okay, let me go check those. Then also guys, over on this side, they have a lot more pops. And guys, when I say a lot, I mean like a buttload of them. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show them all off, but I'll kind of pan through just to show you guys and I'll maybe point out some ones that I really enjoy like the Harlem Globetrotters here or the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and then a little bit farther down there is the gremlin right there I'm probably gonna grab this one today as well as the Vincent Vega just because those are two really great figures then guys a little bit farther down They have some more characters like some Barnes and Noble ones from Civil War some tar actually I think it's all the crossbones here from Civil War, which is actually really cool uh, some X-Men stretch Armstrong the Captain Marvel ooh Lady Sif She's a little damaged, but you do not see this one very often. This is one of the original Marvel ones. I wish it was in a bit of a better box, but as you guys can see here, this is one of the original ones that came with Heimdall and Odin. That is a cool figure right there. So guys, I also ran into this cabinet over here full of figures, and this seems to be the last place that I haven't shown you guys yet, but they do have like Doug over here, as well as Simba. I really do like that one, but I do have the flocked version of Simba, so I don't think I'm gonna be picking that one up today, but then they also have a bunch of the Gargoyles, Destiny, and then up top here, they've got the Invisible Jet, as well as the Green Hornet and Kato, and then the Absolute Carnage, and then some other really cool ones here, like Mariah Carey and some Peppermint Lane, and then two 10 inches over here. We actually just saw the thing over at Toys R Us, but the Joker, I haven't seen in a while. Also guys, they didn't show off the rest of the store. It actually is like a rental place for video games as well as movies and CDs and DVDs. You can also buy stuff here as well. I just thought I'd show this off guys because it really is a neat store inside of here. Now before we get out of That's Entertainment, I did find something at the front there. They have a candy area and it looks like they carry sweet tarts so I definitely gotta get a pack of these. All right, everybody, so we are now back from pop hunting and I think we got a lot more stuff than I expected today because this is like what, like maybe nine pops? I don't know, it's a lot. So of course we're gonna get started with the first store that we went to today, which would have been EB Games. And I got four figures over there and I really did get some good ones. I thought there wasn't gonna be much new because really last time I went, I think the time before that, I got maybe one or two things. So I was thinking I kind of got all of the new stuff that's been out for a while, but they just got in a big restock at the one that we went to today. So we got these ones. The first one that I got was the Death Metal Batman. I almost said Death. Death Metal Batman guitar solo. Now this one, I'm not 100% sure what it's from probably some sort of Batman comic and this just goes to show how crazy Batman comics can really get. 
because I doubt that this was ever in a film. And he also has a guitar that kind of looks like a dragon as well. Like the head of this definitely looks like a dragon. And then it's also got like a big tail coming out of the back and like electricity going on to the actual strings on the guitar. And then it's got chains and bat symbols. It really is a crazy figure. And I'm glad that I could get this one because they only had one left. And now after that Batman, I got this one right here. This is the Gamer Bart. And I did check, I don't have this one. I was a little worried that maybe I did pick it up and I just kind of forgot about it, but I don't have this one. So that is great that I could get this one today. And they only had one of them left. And this one was from back in like, probably, I want to say like maybe November, December. So it was cool that they had one of these left. Actually, it's kind of crazy. I'm getting one left, one left. And I think they only had maybe, no, every single one of the figures that I got today over at EB Games, they only had one of each. So it really was a great time to go because I could snag all of these characters. And the next one being the last concept series C-3PO. Now this one is one of the ones that I really enjoyed getting today because I am trying to get every single one of the concept series figures. And now I'm only missing, I was getting, thinking about it there for a second but I'm only missing one of them and I'm looking at the Darth Vader that I do have and I think it's a little different from this one on the back here because all of the ones in the back of this box are different from the four that they originally created which would have been the Boba Fett, Chewbacca, Starkiller, and Darth Vader. So for some reason they made a second Darth Vader instead of a different character and you guys can see them on the back there and also something that I really enjoy about these boxes is that Funko added the original concept art right there and you can see that Funko did a great job translating it from these into their pop I guess style? Yeah, I was gonna say form. Style's a better word. I still think that's crazy that I got the last figure for all four of these. And then of course the last one that I got was the zombie Red Hulk. And this is one that I wanted to get because like I said, they only had one left. And I think this is very similar to the original zombie Hulk. It might just be the red color that's changed. I'm looking over at my other Marvel Zombie ones and I can't see the Hulk in the front. I can see Wolverine, Magneto, Silver Surfer, Mysterio, but yeah, this one does feel very similar to the other Hulk, just of course red. And well, anyways, guys, I guess I really did get lucky with these four figures today, but let's move on to the next store that we went to, which would be Toys R Us. And I did get a couple cool things over there. So the thing that I got today that I didn't show you guys because it was behind the counter was an Amiibo. And if you guys don't know, I believe three different Amiibos came out today. And the one that I really wanted was this right here. This is the Banjo and Kazooie. And over at my Toys R Us, they had two left. At EB Games, they sold out in the morning, but I guess they must have got a couple more over at Toys R Us. Or maybe not too many people were picking them up over there today, but I was lucky enough to snag this one and I'm so glad that I could get it. And I really don't show off Amiibos that often, but when I do get a good one like this, I definitely want to show it off. And I also ordered the U2s a little while ago, so maybe I can compare the two when I do get that U2s in. All right, so that was the first thing. Then the next thing that I got was a soda. Soda! This is the Batgirl soda. So I guess we'll just pop this open now because I am just trying to get the chase for this one and I already have shown off the Batgirl soda on the channel before. And this one's kind of a thinner one. I really do like the way they did this. And I don't know what's different about it. I believe it's just a color change, if anything, because I know there is a chase for sure because it does say find the chase on the side. But I think, like I said, maybe it's metallic. I don't know. We'll find out when we open it up. If we do get it. If I don't, It'll still be a mystery. <laughs> All right, everybody, now let's pop this thing open and let's see if we got the chase. And of course, I can't look in the bottom because then I'll see if I did get it. And I don't know if I did. <sighs> I can't tell, but it looks like the common. I'll have to check the disc, but it definitely feels like the common. Yep, I got the common one, guys. So this is just the common Batgirl. So I guess the chase will continue to be a mystery. <laughs> All right, well anyways, after that I did get this right here. And this one was a bit of a surprise as well because I didn't think they were gonna have any of the Emerald City Comic Con exclusives still in because I think they came in probably like early last week or late last week, I don't know. Whatever it was, it wasn't this week is what I'm trying to get at here. So the Spider-Man 2099 was still there and I was lucky enough to snag one with a good box. And I know that this one was a Walgreens exclusive in the US and I'm not sure if Walgreens even put it up on their website because they were putting it up a lot later than all of the other stores for some weird reason. But because it has been probably about two or three weeks since Emerald City Comic Con, I'm sure they've already put them up on their website. Well, I mean, at least fingers crossed for everybody that's trying to get this one. But yeah, something really cool about this figure is that he's got the spider webs on the back and I couldn't really see it from in the store, but I definitely want to check it out. Yeah, look at that. It's a little interesting. I don't know how they did that. It's kind of weird how it's stuck on there because I can't tell where they stuck it. Is it like in the top there? Yeah, that's weird. It's almost like a cape on his back, which is very odd. I don't think I've ever seen Spider-Man with a cape like this, but I guess if they're gonna make him have a cape, it's gonna be spiderwebs because that is pretty fitting. 
And then if you guys want to see the front of the figure, there it is right there. And I do think that this is a really simplistic figure, but I do still enjoy it. And also something that I just noticed about it. Do you guys see that? It doesn't even have any paint on there. And for some reason, it's got this big like glue spot. Huh, kind of weird. Like, am I able to get that off? Oh, okay, okay, it's just a little bit of schmutz on the side there. Yeah, that was not too bad. It was just like a little bit of plastic grease. Let's just hope it's that because it is completely gone now. Yeah, that actually looks a lot better. And now guys, that's not all that I got over at Toys R Us. So before we move on to the stuff that I got over at That's Entertainment, I wanna crack this open with you guys right now just to see if we get anything good. And this one here is one of the newer Pokeballs. So I am kind of excited to see what packs you get inside of here. I'm guessing probably like, let me guess actually, Steam Siege, Vivid Voltage, and maybe Darkness Ablaze, I could see. I don't know, let's see here. Ooh, ooh. Okay, okay, so we got Fates Collide, we got Sun and Moon, and then Sword and Shield base set. And Sun and Moon base set, sorry. And then for the coin, please be exclusive at least. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I did not know that this was the coin. I believe it's Mew. Yeah, it looks like Mew, that is really cool. I don't think I have a purplish pink coin like this. All right, well, I doubt we're gonna get anything good in these packs, so let me just rip through these really quickly, and I'll just come back if I get anything good. Uh, first pack, nothing good, but we did get two Minchinos. Not that crazy, but I do like a good Minchino. Pack number two. We got, a, oh, a Shelter and a Cloister, but just a regular rare. Now, if I'm gonna be honest, guys, I don't really think we're gonna get anything good inside of these packs, but the reason I buy it is for the coin and the Pokeball. If you don't get anything good, at least you get those. Woo! Okay, I accidentally looked at it, guys, but it was a good code card. So if anybody wants this, there it is right there. So I do play the TCG online a little bit. So I think I'm going to keep the other ones just for fun because I don't get to open those ones up very often. But let's do this one together. So we got an Energy, we got Hitmonchan, we got Great Ball, we got Galarian Lanoon, Choodle, Blipbug. I know it's a bad setup, sorry, guys. Rhyhorn, Goldeen, Chinchow, and, ooh, nothing crazy, but we did get a Snorlax V. It's something, I'll take it. And here's the thing, guys, even if I don't get anything too crazy, I am cool with just having the Pokeball because this is something cool that I then can display on my shelf in the other room where I like to just put random stuff that maybe isn't Funko related. So this will look great on my shelf, especially because it hasn't been sitting around for a while and no kids have thrown it around dinging up the ball. Because that does happen. If you ever go to Walmart, you know what I'm talking about. All right, everybody, now let's get into what we got over at That's Entertainment because this really is some crazy stuff that I got today. And honestly, it was kind of like a hidden gem because I don't know how many people actually know Know about this store selling Funko Pops and especially the good ones that I got today. I'm really sad that my cover might be blown with That's Entertainment now that I'm putting it into a video and broadcasting it to probably 30,000 people, but hey, that's the price you pay when you make videos. So let's get into the first figure that I got today, which is this one. Now I was actually talking to people over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash games. We were checking out these figures and apparently this one is a reprint from 2020. Do you guys see that there? When you see the 20 as the first numbers, it means that it was made in 2020. So it is kind of crazy that this this one is still being printed to this day and I guess people just don't order it for their stores very often but That's Entertainment had a couple of them in and I definitely wanted to get this one because I do have the gizmo so now it's nice to complete the entire set. And I know what you're thinking, Tristan isn't there a Chase Gremlin? Yeah there is but if I find it maybe I'll pick it up but not if it's gonna be like $200 like it's going for. So anyways guys I'm glad that I could get this one now let's get into the other one because this one here was like a $15 figure nothing crazy I do want to see how much this thing's worth but we'll check that after I show off this one because this right here was an amazing Fine. And this was actually less than what it's worth over on Pop Price Guide and the Funko app. This here is the Pulp Fiction's Vincent Vega, a crazy figure. And now as you guys could probably see, I did pay $79.99 for this figure. And if you guys look at it, they actually put this out on, really? They put this out 12 24 20 So would that have been Christmas Eve? A really weird day to price this figure out. But anyways, I don't really care. It has been sitting there for a while and I'm surprised that nobody's picked it up. And maybe I'm thinking that nobody picked it up because the box looks damaged, but that's just how Funko made the box. It isn't actually damaged. It just kind of looks cracked. And I guess it's to go with the actual cover or you know, like the slip cover on the DVD. And now guys, I know not that many people probably show off these characters on YouTube, so I definitely want to show you guys like a real nice close-up on this one. And if you guys want to see the different characters in the set, there's Vincent Vega, Jules, Mia Wallace, and Jimmy. And I don't know if I'm going to be getting Mia or Jimmy, but I definitely want to get Jules if I can find him for a decent price. Because it would be nice to have both of them next to each other on the shelf. And if you guys are wondering, this is the original Vincent Vega, because if you guys look on the bottom there where it says the date, it says 2014, which I believe is the year that it came out. And also, it has the original Funko logo there. And 
not the newer one, which I kind of enjoy this one. I mean, both of them are good, but it's nice to see this one on the older pops. And now one thing that I really enjoyed about finding this one in person is that I can actually look at the condition of the box. And there are some small things, of course, on this figure, but it's back in 2014. I'm not going to expect a 100% mint box, especially for the price that I got this at $80. When I did look it up on the Funko app, it's going for, I believe, 90 USD, and I got it for 80 Canadian. So that's probably about $60 USD around there. And I do think that it was nuts that it was just sitting there on the shelf under what it's actually worth since, I guess, December 24th, 2020. So I was so lucky that I could get this one. And you know what, guys, before we get out of here, let's pop this thing out of the box. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Tristan, why are you taking this out of the box? Well, I really want to look at this thing and see it a little bit closer up. Plus, I don't think I damaged the box at all with this one because my thumb did not sink into the middle of that flap. So that's nice. All right, guys, so here is the pop right here. Now, it is a bit of a simpler pop just because this did come out back in 2014, but this pretty much is what Vincent looks like in the movie. They really couldn't have done anything else. I love the blaster in his hand. Can't say the G word, but I love the blaster in his hand. Also, the hair looks great. The only thing I wish was different is that he had a coat over his arm like that meme. Do you guys know the one where he comes in the room and he's like looking around like this? I thought it would have been really funny if they did do that, but I believe the meme was probably after they made this figure in 2014, so I'm not faulting them for it. But Funko, if you were to make another wave of the Pulp Fiction characters, I would love to see an updated version of this one and possibly Jules. And now one more interesting thing about this figure is that I noticed on the back it says Series 1. When I don't think that they ever made other characters from Pulp Fiction besides these four. You know what, let me look it up on the Funko app because maybe they made other ones, but I don't think so. Okay, so for Pulp Fiction, did they make more of them? Oh, they did! Interesting! And I think that Wave 2 was just Butch. I only, yeah, you know what? He's not in the back of the box. He must have been the only one they made for series two because he is number 65 when these guys are 61 and then Jules is 62 and then Mia is 63 and then Jimmy is 64. Yeah, so that must have been it. Weird. And also, if you guys are wondering, the Vincent Vega is $90 US, which is one of the cheaper ones, but still, it's an amazing figure to find, like I said. And here's an interesting one for you guys. Jules, as well as Vincent, both had SDCC exclusives, and they were limited to, what does it say? I want to see real quick, just to let you guys know. A thousand pieces each back in 2014. Well, the Jules is worth $260, and then the Vincent is worth $520, and they were the bloody versions of them. So pretty much the exact same just with a little bit of blood splatter on it. It makes it like, what, five times more expensive? Pretty crazy. All right, guys, so I got the wheel. Now let's spin this thing and let's see what we get today. I'm kind of open for movies so I can show off a cooler, maybe older movie figure. You never know. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? We were one off for movies. We got games. It's still okay, I'll take it. All right, everybody, well, if I can't show off an older movie Funko Pop, at least I can show off an older games one. And the one that I wanna show off today is the Conehead Zombie from Plants vs. Zombies. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, did they ever make Plants vs. Zombies ones? Well, yes, there's one right in front of you. You're looking at one right now. But no, it was a bit of an older character. This one came out back in 2012, when Funko Pops only started in 2010. So this really is an older character, and I'm so glad that I did get this one when I did. I think I bought it over at Play and Collect, and I think I paid like $50 for it, but it was definitely worth it because you never see this figure anymore. And also something that I do want to mention is that this isn't technically in the games line. It's actually in its own category, and that's why it doesn't say games under the pop logo right there. And if you guys want to know the other ones, there was a zombie, pea shooter, disco zombie, sunflower, and then of course the conehead zombie. And I mean really the only difference with this one versus the actual thing from Plants vs. Zombies is that the head is probably just a little bit bigger because if you've actually played the game, the head is massive anyway. So I think Funko really just scaled it up slightly and then called it a Funko Pop. But yeah, guys, this is one that I definitely enjoy in my collection, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And also, let me know in the comment section below, what is your oldest Funko Pop? And I don't mean maybe your first Funko Pop in your collection. I mean something like this or Vincent, where, like, you don't see them very often anymore, but they did make them probably back in, like, the first couple years of figures. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Dripping like a school. On a full with school. Maybe gonna school. She funny with it. Cool.
five, four, thump. I'm a hump on a bump, Jack and Jill up a hill. Baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with that. She calling me the muffin, man. I surely like the muffin top. Snow, hey. lemma lashes.